Yeah. Hi, we're here to talk about XCOM Enemy Within, which is the expansion pack for XCOM Enemy Unknown, and you're watching Connected Digital World. Andrew from Connected Digital World here. I recently got some hands-on with XCOM Enemy Within, and I also got to interview Ananda Gupta. And there's some new gameplay footage thrown in there too. Enjoy. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me again. So would you like to tell us who you are and what you do? I'm Ananda Gupta. I'm the lead designer on XCOM Enemy Within. So do you want to tell us a little bit about Enemy Within? Yes, so Enemy Within is an expansion pack for XCOM Enemy Unknown. In it, we are adding elements to every part of the game. We are adding new soldier improvement at, uh, w with cybernetics and genetics. We're adding new enemies. And today we're mostly talking about the, uh, the new strategy layer ads. We're talking about Exalt, the new human adversary in XCOM Enemy Within. It is a paramilitary secret society that is bent on ruling the world from the shadows and waging a covert campaign against XCOM. And you fight them on the strategy layer by locating and rooting out their cells. And then on the tactical layer, when your operatives, your undercover operatives go in, you need to help them retrieve the data that will, help, that will disrupt Exalt's operations. So tell us a little bit about uh, Exalt and why you decided to include them. So I think Exalt is a neat idea because it answers an interesting question about what is, the, what is the world's reaction to the alien invasion? You know, some people would react with fear, some people would, would react with resolve, but it's not simply one or the other. There's also people who react with glee, right? People who react that, with, with, a, uh, with a sense that their moment has come, that this is a, an opportunity not to be missed. And I think Exalt, that, that's narratively, I think Exalt makes a lot of sense from that angle, but from a gameplay point of view, it was an opportunity to add a new type of strategic gameplay where the player can control the tempo. Um, you know, unlike the campaign against the aliens, Exalt missions don't take place unless the player wants them to. You know, the player is the one who triggers all the covert operations. The player determines when and where and how to fight Exalt. Whereas with the alien invasion, the player is playing a little more reactively, reacting to events that the aliens are throwing at you. And that's a lot of fun, but adding Exalt in this way provides a new dimension for the strategy layer that I think is a really fun and an interesting new add for, the, uh, for, for, for XCOM players. So from the story perspective, if you decided not to play any of the Exalt missions, does that affect the overall story? Uh, from a story point of view, there, there's, a, there's two ways in which Exalt affects the sort of overall narrative of the game. If you ignore Exalt completely, they will make a huge nuisance of themselves. It's very hard to do that, especially on the higher difficulty levels. And ultimately, you won't get to the, to the Exalt finale mission where you will uh, confront Exalt's headquarters and defeat them permanently. However, there's another side plot involving Exalt called Operation Progeny. Operation Progeny is uh, an interesting uh, storyline, side storyline for Exalt, where you'll, in, starting in month two, if you have it turned on, you'll get wind of an interesting, unique Exalt plot that you can foil. And I think this is something that players will enjoy following to the end. So in terms of the Exalt missions, do you want to walk us through what a, a, an average Exalt mission involves? Well, there are two. There's two mission types that we've added in Exalt's uh, counterintelligence and covert ops. One is covert data recovery. This is one where your, your covert operative has the intel needed to disrupt an Exalt cell and find a clue to the location of Exalt headquarters. But that information is contained within an intelligence asset called a transmitter that needs to be protected in this mission. And Exalt is trying to capture the transmitter. So you, your covert operative and the squad that you send to help out must protect this, uh, these intelligence assets from Exalt capture. And then the other covert operation is called uh, covert extraction. Covert extraction is where 
the data is contained in Exalt Com relays on the map, your operative must hack those relays and get out alive, along with the squad that has been sent to help. In Covert Extraction, you don't actually have to kill all the Exalt forces. You can get, if, if you get that intel out of those relays and skedaddle, then you are in good shape. So you've introduced some new alien aliens in this game, and also some new character types. Do you want yeah. to tell us a little bit about those? Uh, so we've added two new aliens, the Mechtoid, which we talked about at some of Games Common at PAX, the Sectoid and the Power Suit who is very upset about what has happened to his sectoid friends early in the game. And the Seeker, our first stealth alien, uh, a more hit and run and assassin type of alien rather than sort of a frontline bruiser type. And then Exalt has its own lineup. It has four units. It has the Exalt operative, the sniper, the heavy, and the medic. And those guys all have training and weapons that you would expect. They use squad tactics in a way that you would expect. We've done a lot of work on their, on their AI to have the squad tactics uh, resolve in an interesting and challenging way. And then, later in the game, those will upgrade into elite versions. So they will gain even more abilities, more genetic modifications, and better weapons, better weapons still. And I think players will enjoy going up against an enemy that on, in some cases seems devoted to giving the player a taste of his or her own medicine. Um, collateral damage is a big thing. Yes. Do you want to talk about that and why you've included that? Collateral damage is an ability that mechs have uh, on, their, on their primary weapons. They use it to selectively destroy cover. So they can use it to alter the battlefield for tactical advantage, which I think is something that we really wanted to do. We wanted to add that back into XCOM. Uh, and especially with, with, our, with, with, with Enemy Unknown's combat system, which heavily rewards cover, this is something that you can use to take away, to deny enemy cover, to expose enemies for better shots by your squad mates. It's a really good combo ability. Um, and how many new maps are you introducing? We are increasing the map count by almost 50%, so we are adding a lot of new maps in XCOM Enemy Within. So that should keep people uh, very interested for a while? I hope so, yes. There's, I think, 20 Covert Ops maps. Negative damage. still going to have the insane level of difficulties? The game is definitely, the, the game definitely is, is challenging. Uh, you know, XCOM Enemy Unknown was about challenge, and Enemy Within, we try to carry forth that tradition. Um, the nature of Exalt makes them, uh, makes them an interesting challenge because they're a new, a new way to engage on the strategy layer. They're a new type of challenge with those mission types that require perhaps an update in one's tactics. Uh, the recovery of meld is something, uh, meld is our new resource in the strategy layer and recovering it uh, in the abduction and UFO missions is an additional challenge that will uh, control how fast you advance on the cybernetic and genetic paths. And in, in addition, we've just made some difficulty tweaks, especially on classic and impossible. For example, on, on classic and impossible difficulty, research speeds are slowed somewhat. And uh, on all difficulty levels, soldiers rank up a little slower. Um, so what's next for you guys once the ships? That is, that is an ongoing conversation that we are having with 2K and we are looking forward to figuring out where that's going to go. What's the release date? XCOM Enemy Within is available on PC, Mac, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on November 15th, 2013. And tell us a little bit about the Commander Edition. So the Commander Edition is how you can get your hands on XCOM Enemy Within uh, if you are playing on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3. It is a single disc, standalone. You do not have to own Enemy Unknown to, ha to, to play the Commander Edition. And it contains XCOM Enemy Within and all the elements of XCOM Enemy Unknown needed to play this combined campaign. 
as well as all the DLC that we've released. It contains Operation Slingshot and the Elite Soldier Pack and the Second Wave update. So it is a very complete package of XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. So, so Enemy Unknown became very popular again over the last few months when it was released on iOS. Are you planning on releasing Enemy Within? So that is, that is, we were very happy and 2K was very happy with, with the reception of XCOM for the iOS. Uh, uh, yes, I see it. There, there it is. Um, and so we are definitely open to that possibility. That is something that is part of 2K's ongoing strategy to get our games onto as many platforms as, as, as they possibly can, which I think uh, we, we, we really like that they have that strategy. So uh, that will be part of a conversation with, with 2K as they, as they sort of force the road ahead for, for, that, uh, for that publishing approach. Thanks. Thank you very much for your time today. Well, thanks very much.